earlier this morning when we called on uh, His Excellency the Deputy President at the current hospital, we were able to address the media. And I recall my words, which I want to repeat, that um, the last line of defense in this country now, after the state capture of parliament by the executive, is our judiciary. And uh, when we were attending this funeral service here, we learned that uh, Justice Mwita has issued conservatory orders, uh, staying the decision or suspending the decision of the Senate last evening. The effect of that is basically to say that Gachagua is still the deputy president, the second deputy president, until the courts determine otherwise. And we have every confidence that um, our courts will do justice. As I said, justice must reign. Justice must reign, even though the heavens fall. And I think that is what, as I said, as a land, last line of defense, because the country is dealing with very urgent, critical matters, like the state capture of our electricity transmission system, the state capture of our health care system, the, the, the state capture of our international airport. Okay. And as I said, by, by investors whom I'm told even want to use the title deed <laughs> of, uh, of the airport to go and look for funding. Which country, which independent country would want to sacrifice in cr critical infrastructure such as an international airport to even foreign investment? Because that is what it is. Security of a country is paramount. And you can compromise national security by the way you handle your, your national or international airport. We will be in court, as uh, Judge Barasa ordered, on Tuesday in open court to argue this matter. Because we, that's why we are saying this impeachment of Gachagua was, uh, <laughs> was a diversionary tactic so that Kenyans can forget about these things when there's state capture going on. So I think that's what I wanted to clarify. And uh, now one thing is important. If, if this uh, the suspension of this resolution means that whatever the National Assembly has done today <laughs> is actually null and void. And the effect of that is Gachagua security is very important because he's still the number two in the country. His security must be returned because we know that they had already withdrawn. Some of us are used to having no security <laughs> arrangements. Ours, mine has been withdrawn, I think, twice or three times. But we have a sitting deputy president, although he's actually in hospital. But even in hospital, we urge that that security arrangement is on the Pale because he's in bed in hospital. So that that place needs to be secured. Uh, yes, whatever they have done, right, after this decision by Justice Mwita is null and void until the courts find otherwise. First of all, I must tell you, there is no IEBC in place. I have tremendous respect, by the way, for Kidure Kindiki in Takayakwa, I say. He's, 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 my, he's like my younger, younger brother. We come from the same region, Uko Musho Musho, all right? But this is not the way these things should be done. 